Creme Coco Creamery is influenced our culture, our flavors that we love, and it comes from the heart. I'm Asher Thorpe, and this is my husband, Omar Thorpe, and we are the owners of Creme and Coco Creamery. We've been married for 21 years. On our first date, we had ice cream and Indian food. <laughs> Both of our backgrounds are Caribbean. We have a hint of our culture in each one of the ingredients we put into our ice cream. Our shop is in the majority Caribbean community. People take their family, kids, grandparents. It's a place where people can come, get to know each other. And there are certain flavors that people remember, people like, like mango, passion fruit, coconut. So like prime example, soursop. Most people do not know what soursop is. It grows in tropical climates. It tastes like pineapple and a mango, but we made it into ice cream. We did a coconut milk base. It actually brought out more of the soursop taste. He said, hmm, we should use this one more. You can go back to your childhood and you can say, oh yeah, I remember that flavor. Growing up, a lot of my ice cream wasn't even bought. It was made at home. When you have our ice cream, you will take an experience of what a traditional Caribbean home would have. It takes you to my grandmother's kitchen, from the spices to the freshly picked fruits. Our dairy ice cream is a French custard-based ice cream that is rich, it is creamy, it is velvety, it's smooth. It's just good. <laughs> Prima Coco Creamery has been featured in multiple publications and on television, we were also recognized as one of the best ice creams in America. You could think you have a good concept, but when it translates to the outside world, that's also appreciated. People can get a piece of who we are, the flavors that we grew up with, flavors that we love. It's not common you can find a lot of our flavors anywhere. We just want to share those flavors with everyone. <laughs>